I hold myself accountable for the current law and order situation in Fiji today, much of which has been inherited from decisions made in the past. The Honorable Maharaj, Honorable Speaker, the Honorable Maharaj, yesterday talked about Fiji First sowing seeds. Well, Honorable Speaker, indeed they sowed many seeds. And Honorable Speaker, so if Fiji First wants to take credit for the good and sweet fruits of seeds that they sowed, they must also accept responsibility for the bad, for the rotten, for the sour, and poisonous fruits as well that was born out of their administration. The negative fruits of these seeds are what we are contending with today. It's what I'm contending with today. Drugs, police brutality, unprofessionalism, and inefficient administrative processes. All of these are now my responsibility. And I have to deal with it. I accept it that it's now on my lap. And it will not change overnight. But I assure this Honorable House, Honorable Speaker, it will change. It is going to change. Now, having said all that, Honorable Speaker, it is our duty. It is our duty. As stewards of this nation, to look beyond the vestiges of the past and forge a path towards a future where our security apparatus is capable, resilient, and responsive to the needs of our time. Honorable Speaker, I would like to highlight a crucial initiative within our Fiji police force known as the Restore Blue concept. This innovative approach is aimed at embedding human rights at the heart of our policing efforts. <coughs> it's about ensuring that every action taken by our police officers aligns with international human rights standards, ensuring that the rights and dignity of every individual and community are respected and also protected. The essence of human rights-based policing is to forge a positive, trust-based relationship between the police and the community that they serve. It's about moving away from any practices that may have previously undermined public confidence in the police, such as excessive use of force or human rights violations. These actions not only damage the professional image of our police force, but also hinder their ability to effectively serve and protect our communities. By adopting the Restore Blue concept, we are committed to transforming our police force. This involves integrating human rights principles into all aspects of police work, from the operations to the very ethos that guide our officers. It means reviewing and upgrading even the equipment and facilities to ensure they must meet the high standards required for humane and effective law enforcement, Mr. Speaker.